so I wasted every bit of me thinking that I had a man I'm done I'm done with relationships like I'm done like I need painkillers what's up my people I beg welcome to gossip 24 please make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell notification icon so Abena Koko has set social media ablaze once again. You know the usual thing with Abena Koko that we all know is that oh she will come social media, um, she will come and post some lists. You understand list of people who have chopped there and, and all of that. But this time around, it has gotten out of hands. We don't have control over this particular thing that Abena Koko has done on social media this afternoon. In fact, Abena Koko. She has posted her total on social media. Now, remember uh, earlier this year, Abna Koko put a price tag on the thing around 50,000 Ghana CD or US dollars. I know some of you are regular customers, <laughs> you'll be able to quote the right currency. It was either 50,000 Ghana CDs or 50,000 US dollars. It was put on the total that anyone who wants to enjoy the total now is not going to be free. You have to pay that amount. You understand you have to pay that amount all of a sudden out of nowhere this morning we just woke up we are having a we are having a good day we are having a good day out of nowhere abna koko decided to spice up the day with some premium content exclusive content content good for the body and the soul but they were very explicit and in fact they they raised a lot of questions about the mental health of Abena Koko, whether things are getting better or getting bad. And I think things are getting bad. Now, this particular one, according to Abena Koko, it was triggered by a broken heart. Okay? According to her, she has got broken heart. Now, who gave Abena Koko this broken heart? Even before we go and see the photos and all those things. I know some of you are so eager to see some, but some of the videos and the photos, I can't show them here on my YouTube channel. Else, YouTube will punish me, and I don't want to risk my YouTube career. <laughs> so, if you want to see those explicit photos and those videos, you can just go to her, her Twitter. It's at Abena Koko. Okay, it's at Abena Koko, and um, her destiny is renewed mindset. I don't know which kind of mindset has been renewed, but according to her, someone has given her broken heart, and that's the guy you can see right on the picture. He says, "Heartless motherfucker, it is on." So according to Abraham, this guy has given her booking out. We don't know the name of the guy, what the guy did, where the guy is from, who the guy is, how it all started. But Abraham has given us a brief rundown on everything that has transpired in her love life so far and how she arrived in the, her current state. So let's go and look at the video she shared and what she's actually talking about. Now... If I ever decide to go in a relationship, I need a contract for that. So that there's evidence to show that something happened between us. Like, if I'm giving my time, there's going to be a logbook. There's going to be, like, I have to record every fucking shit. Nigga just called me this morning. He said what? He said he never proposed to me. So I wasted every bit of me thinking that I had a man. I'm done. I'm done with relationships. Like, I'm done. Like, I need painkillers. I'm going to get myself some balloons, pop some pills, take my psychiatric meds, like whatever, because I haven't slept in days. I haven't slept in days. Like, I haven't slept in days. Like, I'm just fucking new niggas trying to forget about this old nigga and shit is not working. Like, it seems I'm addicted to his dick or something, his sex game. I don't know, whatever it is. Like, shit. Like, I need to find me a new D or a new pussy, something like. <laughs> So you niggas that are sliding my DM and you know you're married or you're a public figure, what the fuck are you doing my DM? What the fuck? 
are you doing in my DM? Honorable Kennedy was saying, Nyako. What do you mean by calling my friend and lying to him? So, we'll be there soon. I'll say, Bring me stuff. What pan me trim that now would you mean? What petty arsenal? I will cry one yard. We necessarily move to school. One yard, and I won't even say, Why worry? Won't even say, Why minister? Deputy minister for our great city. John niggas are like a fucked up. Y'all niggas are fucked up. Y'all niggas are just fucked up. Like, can't she get a pussy that is gonna stay quiet? I ain't gonna stay quiet. She you haven't paid me enough to stay quiet. I don't need your money anyway. I just need some good dick. Period. I don't need your money because you're you're using taxpayers' money. You're using taxpayers' money, like that's what you're using it for. I am one bitch that you can keep quiet with money. No, hell the fucking no. I'm going to get myself some balloons. Like, that shit is crazy. Like, it takes the edge off. And, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know what is going to happen to me next. I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking tired of every motherfucker. Like, just tired. Just, just tired. I want to do dreadlocks. I want to dye my hair red. Whatever, like. I'm just fucking tired. Oh my god, my legs hurt. Every part of my legs hurt. Every part. Um, I think I need a cleaner. Maybe I do. Because, now, nah, but cleaning is therapy for me. When I wake up in the morning, I bend my incense. I mop the floors. And um, it's therapeutic for me. So, I try not to have cleaners, but... You bring all the best, the best in me. Fact that you brought nothing out of me. You just damaged me. You just took me from hundred to negative thousand. You said you're going to be different. Is this the difference you're going to be? Whoa, women. Let men show you who they are. Don't listen to what they say. Don't listen to what they say. Oh my God, my knees. Everything fucking hurts. Everything fucking hurts. Everything fucking hurts. I need it no more. Sometimes Jesus takes too long to answer the fucking questions. I've been doing this church thing for a while. I'm not going to stop like word. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to do the church thing for a while. Because it helps, like, going to church, praying, and that kind of thing. Like, you know, it's not easy. Like, you go to the hospital, you're injected so many times, and you become, like, an imbecile. Therapy is fucking expensive. Like, an hour is 450 Ghana cities. Like, therapy is fucking expensive. And therapy, like, um... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Therapy, like, opens a whole new kind of worms. It's like, every time I go to therapy, it's like, shit, things I used to forget, I remember all those fucking things. And I never knew I was dazed and a narcissist. And it's like, he's, I'm, I'm trying to pay him in his own coin. But that's not who I am. Like, I'm really trying not to go Kanye on this nigga. Like, I'm really trying. Like, when I read Kanye stories, I'm like, I'm scared. I don't want to become like this nigga because I just don't want to become like this nigga. Like, I just don't want to become like him. I'm tired of going in and out of hospitals. I'm tired of taking pills. I'm like, I've stopped weed for some time now. I don't know if it's helping or not. But, like, I was just scared that my house will be raided one day. And they're going to find weed. And, you know, when they find weed in your house, you're going to do time. And I've already done time. I'm not going to do time for nobody. I don't think I'm going to survive. And in some way, I'm like, shit, Shatawali couldn't even do it. He couldn't do it. When he came out, that nigga was looking like blue. And 
Nah, like I can do. I can do in sewing. Like I can do. I can even do the hospital. How much more prison? Like American prison is cool as fuck. Like you get to go to school. You have a library. You have a lot of things that you can benefit from. I can say the same for in sewing. Like they have no form of reformation there. Oh my God! I wish I could. So guys, there you have it. According to Abinako, she says she fell in love with the guy. You understand? Now the guy is saying he didn't even propose to her. So she should get over the guy. And she can't get over the guy. That's the painful part of it all. The painful aspect of it all. She can't get over the guy. So in her way to express herself and relieve, okay, get over the whole thing, that's it there. That's what Abinako is showing us. Guys, I just flashed it once. I can't show everything. You understand? She's showing this one too. Not just that, a, a couple of them. She's showing us this one too. Not just that, she's showing us this one too. Not she's showing us a lot of things on on her Twitter. And according to her, it's a, as a result of broken heart. I don't know which broken heart can 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 hurt a Pinakoko for her to do such a thing. Something she puts a price tag on. Someone should tell this girl to get an OnlyFans account because that's how she can she can she can she can make some money. But posting this content free on social media, or oh, Pinakoko. Abinako, please. I think Abinako needs some help. And if you are a family member, if you can help her, please help her. Please offer her the needed help so that at least we can get a sound and sane Abinako. From all indications, she's, she's an intelligent girl. She's very smart. But this side of her is something that is, 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 is really disturbing. You understand the fact that she gets emotional and then her emotions triggers her to do something nasty, to do something silly on social media is, is rather unfortunate. I wish um, someone could go to her aid and not take advantage of the situation. You know, people are actually happy she's posting these pictures. But if you, if, if she's your family member, you really be worried. You understand the, the fun side of the whole thing is there but also the moral side the implications it will have on her in the future and what have you in fact she has posted everything in 4k as i just go to her twitter it's at abina koko and go and check out those photos and videos for yourself you understand i'm not here i can't come and play those photos and those videos here you should just go there and go and check them out for yourself there are a lot of stories attached to it you can go and read for yourself but this is what triggered her to post those photos you've seen um trending perhaps in your whatsapp groups in your telegram groups and on twitter don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell notification icon this is gossips 24 i'm out